All right, guys. So here is the toaster. Um, so what I ended up doing is repaired it. So we've got another tube made, um, and we've got it wired up. So just so anyone that doesn't know much about neon, um, let me do it this way. Just so happen to have this piece of paper right here. Okay, so. Let me just draw my toast. So we have two pieces of toast in this neon. Okay, so on my power supply. We have two legs and then we have one going to the wall. Okay, so what you do is you wire this up in series. So what it does, this wire goes over to here and connects. This leg goes over to here, connects, and then you bring the leg back over here and connect. So that's how you wire it up. So that's what I did here. Um, so what happens, it's kind of like the old Christmas tree with the blinking bulbs. So if one of these goes dead, the toast, if one goes dead, the circuit stops going through. So you can no longer connect the circuit. So that's where the little test probe that I use, that's how you can test that. You can check each one of these individually, take them off and run it. Or you can hold that tube up to here and run it. And that's how you can check to see if the tube goes bad. Okay, so I wired it up. We had to put some new foam in it for them. Um, this is some foam that was painted black. Um, when they get it, I'll have them push it in just a little bit better to adjust the height how they want. Some people want one toast higher than the other. Um, it's personal choice. This is a vintage retro piece. So everyone is going to be different. Um, like I said, the, the, tor the, the foam supports it underneath. There's no crazy brackets or anything. So we've got it plugged in now. And we're going to go through a few different light settings. So I got the lights on in here, so you're not going to see it as well. So there it is right there, guys. The toaster with the toast. And like I said, this, this is over-exaggerating it a little. It makes it look a lot worse than how much is sticking out. But, um, so that's what we do. And so like I said, you can see it, guys, just like that. Cameras are so hard to get a good video of neon, it's not funny. Um, so now what we're going to do, we're going to dim the light. Now you can see it even brighter toast. Um, so there it is, guys. It's a cool little Art Deco piece. Um, toaster with some toast. Um, thanks again, guys, um, for the help. Blue, uh, Blue Line Neon. Um, for the help getting the other one done. Thank you so much. Um, hope you guys like this video. It's not a long video, guys. It's just a little short one showing you guys how it's done and how it's put back together. Sorry I didn't get to show you guys me wiring it up. I wired it up just like I showed on here. The reason I didn't get to show you guys, um, there's no easy way to brace this. So to hold the top of that, um, I've got to flip it upside down, kind of hold it on my lap, kind of jiggle things around. The cables... Um, they go from here to here, and then one's over here and one's over here. So it's kind of a mess to try to get your hand in there because there is no slide anymore, but the base and all that is still in here as you see when I took it apart. So it makes it a little tricky to get that done, to get in there, and to move around and work with it. Um, so it does take a little practice, so sorry about that guys, and I couldn't film that. Um, I'll try to do it on something else. Um, the bigger stuff that's wide open, it's easier. You're using ties and all that. But you wire it up that way, guys. There it goes. Neon doesn't get hot, guys. If it does, you got an issue. Your tubes are uh, going bad. There's an issue or something wrong with it. So there it is, guys. Hope you guys like it. Um, if you do, give this a thumbs up. Please like, subscribe, and follow, guys. Um, hope you guys find this helpful. I'm Waldo2413. Peace. I'm out. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. That's where you don't miss any more Michi and Bobby videos.